Welcome back to What Are Nibs for General Disturbance. This is an AMX 13105 AM Mini 50. It's the tier 5 French SPG. It's located on the Eastbourne of Paris and it's under the command of Detronics. And alongside him is Bad Wolf in the Cavalier. Or the Derpolator, I think it is, that particular one. And Mirabanks is in the T67. And I think they're streaming on the NA server. Now the reason I say that is because uh, we can see that Mary Banks is using her NA account. So I think this is an NA battle. Now this little RT has a 105mm gun. It's built on the hull of an AMX 13 ton light tank so it's quite nippy. Doesn't have um, stun I'm afraid but it does have a fairly good punch. 445 alpha and 30 millimeters of penetration and it also carries a fair amount of ammunition and it's got a fast reload 12.08 seconds which makes it quite a potent little RT but it's a difficult RT to play to get accurate shots in and that's why a lot of players play this only to get up to the AMX 13 F3 the tier 6 French SPG because they find that a lot more fun with the stun and of course with that 155 millimeter gun it's much more accurate but this little RT is very good if you want to mark an RT because yes it can be marked it's tier 5 and if you get very accurate with it it can be very deadly to the enemy that she knew is sitting on that rise on the steps basically and he's moving up and down to get shots and he's coming to the open unfortunately Detronics rounds were not hitting but that one did and that was Bad Wolf taking out the Chi Nuv with his um, Cavalier. Okay, enemy tank, a Panzer 3 4, is actually sitting the other side of the hill and he's actually spotting for his team. And the Cavalier behind Bad Wolf is getting taking damage from the enemy RT. So we know there's an enemy RT nearby in the field somewhere. Going for that M4A1, dialing in very carefully. And he hit the target there with a direct hit. Now he might not have penetrated it. You see loads of shots shooting over the top of that uh, M4. Oh, changed his aim. He's now aiming where the Panzer Mark IV Hydrostat is. Somewhere in that corner behind the heap of uh, rubble. can't see him at the moment but I think he's actually just the other side and there he is rounds out direct hit tracked him 110 he's fixed his tracks using his repair kit and he's got back into cover again oh the enemy t67 just got wiped out by our m4 a1 we lost Bad Wolf, I'm afraid, during that um, encounter. He's back in the garage, and I'm afraid Mary Banks is as well. So it's all now down to uh, to Detronics to win this game. Oh, and the enemy's moving up in the field. We've got a T-34 shielded coming towards Bad Wolf. In fact, he gets hit by some of our defenders. Got an M4A1 nearby. Unfortunately... One of our tanks, one of our, uh, one of our tank destroyers, has actually pulled back. That's the uh, death toaster. And now all that um, Detronics has got is that M4A1 nearby to protect him. There's the T67. He's gone to waterway. Nope, didn't then hold that one. But he's got a fast reload, remember. So if the enemy gets close, once he's loaded, he'll get a nice little hit because this thing is very good. At shotguns. Okay, T67 reaches the end of the road and gets derped out of existence. Lovely shotgun there, 470 hit points, but he is now spotted, which means the enemy RT will be dialing in on this spot. They've got two RT, a Gorilla and a 105 FH, and it looks like an enemy RT round just exploded where he was. The other RT on our team was also spotted, and he was just hit by stun. So I think that was a round from the enemy Grilla. Anyway, he's off. 
Detronics is still sitting. Oh, that's the gorilla. So it must have been the other RT that hit our Fifi. He's aiming on that corner. He's dialed in on the enemy tanks. I think it's a, a still 3G and the Panzer 4 Hydra stat. And we just lost our Fifi. He was taken out by the enemy Fifi. And Detronics has decided now he's got to go shotgun. He's going to actually try and drive up and kill these guys face to face. They're just around the corner. Right, we're down to just three players left on our team. The enemy's got five. And there's the AM AMX ELC. Just over there, short distance away. Yeah, no problem. 375. You see, this 105mm gun is actually quite powerful at close range. In fact, I've dirped and killed T3485Ms with this particular RT. Well, not this one, but not Detronics one, but I've killed in my own AMX 13105AM. I've shotgunned T3485s in the face and killed them at close range. Well, we know there's a T-34 shielded out in the field. Oh, we just lost. We just lost our last teammate. The M4A1 was killed by the gorilla. And that means now that Detronics is all alone. And he's now going to have to carry the team if he's going to win. Well, we know there's two RT up this end of the map. We know the T-34 shielded is somewhere out in the field. And so he's going to have to kill two enemy RT. There's one of them, the gorilla. Who suddenly realised somebody's looking at me? Starting in. Yep, no problem with that shot. Again, as I said, it's a powerful gun at close range. Now he didn't go down closer because the enemy Fifi is more than likely out in that area as well. And he didn't want to expose himself to that Fifi for too long. The enemy Fifi thinks he's gone around the corner. Actually, he's still fairly close. And again, 105mm round right in the face. Takes out the Fifi at close range. He's now reloading. He's expecting that T-34 shielded to come for him. He's waiting on this corner. Here he comes. Using the wreck for cover. Wait for it. Wait for it. He's locked on. Here we go. Yes! Wins the game! Carries for the team! Five shotguns and a wedding. No, not five shotguns and a wedding. I'm thinking of a film there, aren't I? But uh, five shotgun kills to win the game. What a game that was. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. It's a first ace tanker for Detronics in the AMX 13105 AM Mini 50. What a way to win the game with five shotguns. He got a Reaper badge because, well, it's not surprising. He shotgunned them consecutively with one round each. And that earns him a Reaper. He got a Fighter Badge for getting at least four kills. He got five in the end. Got a Counter Battery because he took out both the enemy RT by shooting them with a 105mm round. And a Bruiser Medal for getting at least five critical hits. He got 12 in that one. And his win eight from that battle. Well, look at that. 8,202. At least if that's if my eyes are not deceiving me, they are not. It is 8,202, which is a very high score on win eight. Uh, but very well deserved in this game because he carried it for his team and took out the remaining enemy right face to face. Let's have a look at the uh, team score. He didn't get the highest damage in the game. Sadly, he missed out on getting a high caliber because the guy who actually scored more than him, the M4A1, had 38 more hit points of damage. 38, just 38 hit points divided him from a high caliber. Well, he didn't get the high caliber, but he did get the highest number of kills. Five kills. One third of the enemy team was wiped out by him alone. And three kills were, were, um, were obtained by the Griller and their M10. And then two kills by the M4A1, the M10, the T-34 shielded on his own team. And the AMX CLC, the Panzer 3 4 the Fifi on the enemy team. When it came to base XP, it, he was high on that one. Yes, 891 for him. 702 for the M4A1, 612 for the M10 RBFM. 
Detronics fired 14 rounds in that game, got 7 direct hits, 4 penetrations and 4 splash. Damage of 1,802 hit points, of which 178 were at more than 300 meters. As you can see, the vast majority of the damage he did in that game was at close range, starting with that T67, where he actually got, well, over 400 hit points. Was it over 400 or nearly 300 hit points? 470, sorry, 470 hit points with one shot just like that right into him at very, very close range. Uh, then he actually received one hit by way of splash damage from the enemy RTS. That was from the Griller. It was a, a close shot which landed just a few yards away from him but didn't do that much in the way of damage. Two enemy vehicles spotted. That would be the RT. Seven enemy vehicles damaged, five killed. And on a free-to-play account on this occasion, on the NA server, 25,307 credits. And after repair and ammunition resupply, he took away 22,537 credits. He earned 891 base XP, got times 2 on the first occasion, and 1,782 experience points altogether. What a great game that was towards the end. Detronix proved and shows that the AMX 13105AM Mini 50 is actually a very good RT to play if you've got a, a unique kind of uh, patience that the play style is, is very good. It's very good at shotguns, and if you can dial in on a target from long range and keep your um, practice up, then you can get very accurate shooting in this RT. And remember, it is a 105mm, so it's very much like the Fifi in terms of the amount of damage it does, the, the, the 105 left edge 18 m 2 It's very much like that in the amount of damage it does. It almost has as fast a reload, well, almost, about four seconds difference. But it is a very mobile RT, so you can play a mobile game in this one. And um, if you want to look for an RT to, to mark and get a third mark, this is the RT to do it in. Because uh, after a few, uh, after a lot of practice, you can actually get very, very good. One of the members of What RT Noobs managed to get an ace, um, his first mark of excellence on this RT. I think it was in March this year or April this year. And he's got his third mark already. So... In less than two months, he's managed to third mark an arty. So if you want to third mark something, do it in this one. But what a great game by Detronix. Shotgunning to win. Yes, it's always fun when you shoot somebody at close range and they go kaboom. And that was a very, very good game. So uh, if you enjoyed that replay, please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel. And thank you for watching.